Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single boss, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a year of Gary Butterfield. Gary, we did it. We did it. This we is, did a whole year of the show. We did a whole year of this stupid fucking show with our lives. Yep. And I don't want to wait. For this show to be over. It usually <laughs> takes about ten minutes, plus sometimes longer. And sometimes shorter. Pretty rare that's shorter. Yeah, no, we're ramblers. We are ramblers, we're gamblers. Uh we're midnight we're, ramblers. We're we're god god damblers. <laughs> Good god dambler. Good god dambler. I've been rewatching Deadwood, watching that with my girlfriend. Uh-huh. And uh yeah, Ooh. that's one of the that's that's Swearinger's favorite catchphrase. All right, Gary, it's time well, to evaluate. Good evalu- goddamn, Larry cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to evaluate, Gary. Mm-hmm. I'm ready for my performance review. Oh, okay. As your sidekick. Mm-hmm. Now, you said sidekick, not my psychic, right? Yeah, I do think of myself as your psychic, but in this case, I am asking to be evaluated as your sidekick. Yeah, I just wanted to, because evaluating is my, as my psychic, like, I just feel like. Oh, no, I've given you some extremely bad things. guidance. Yeah, I think I think that that's. I mean, that evaluation will come later, and that's not. You're you're not gonna like it. On purpose, though. My visions are accurate. I'm just spiteful. Well, that makes you a bad psychic. Uh, it makes me a bad friend. It, well, I mean, and, and as far as the job psychic, it makes you good as far as the the superpower psychic. Well, that's like with politicians. It's like, are they really being like? What are we really evaluating them on? Like, the job of a politician really is to get a, elected again, not to really serve our desires. That's a really good question. Those are really good points. All right, Gary, um, rate me. Well, let me now that you've said that good point about politicians. Let me make an adjustment real quick. Oh, for reading here, you, boy, I knew I was on the bubble on being canceled. The uh, no, no, you, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with how that insight increased your score. Oh, um, I'm giving you a perfect ten, <gasps> Gary. You got the Jeremy Greer Memorial Podcast Partner Award. What a perfect ten. You, you just Ooh. swept the germies. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Uh, rest in a Popeye somewhere in Louisiana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Elliot Kalen from the pop the, from the flop house? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't know. He doesn't know who that is. And I don't know who it is. So, you so know, uh, probably not. Well, he's a funny guy who likes Popeyes too much. Oh, everyone in Louisiana likes Popeyes too much. There were like I saw lines for Popeyes when I was down there, and we like ate like amazing food that came out of a gas station. I was about to say, wouldn't you want like? Isn't there like authentic? And everywhere, all that everywhere, everywhere. Okay, we've been doing this for a year, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but you don't get to do my review for another couple weeks because of those Brighton weeks. So, oh, that's true. That's true. I I don't have the full picture yet. Yep, you have to wait until I've done a whole year, and uh, it's going to be many decades before you can do Brighton's review. <laughs> Yeah, boy. And God, Nick's review? Yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick's Nick review is a negative hasn't been on right the now. show. Yeah, Nick, Nick who keeps saying he's going to. <laughs> you know, we can say anything we want about Cole. Like, I know Cole doesn't listen to the show. Yeah. Um, I dropped a couple of things that are like everything to get me standbys, and he just like, you know, reacted <laughs> blankly. Wait, what What did you do? What did you drop? Um, <laughs> it was either like um, <laughs> Heaven what? Wish. Okay. I, I brought up Heaven Wishes, and he had no idea what they were. Gary, I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> they're a thing you made Come up on, in man. one episode no they're real well heaven wishes when you go to heaven you get one wish i i mean yeah i feel like context clues do do that job mm, i don't know but he, he was just like what's that like in a, in a real yeah. earnest kind of way and i was like oh i should file this in the back of my head that cole doesn't listen to everything to guppy <laughs> <laughs> so but not in a so sad you know, way, in a powerful way. In a powerful way. Like, yeah, I was just kind of like, I'm going to use this hurt and turn it around. This is where we're going to organize the resistance. Mm-hmm. To, like, the tiny duck feed that grows within duck feed. <laughs> <laughs> a duckling feed. The, uh, the oh, tiny version. I, that's amazing. I just had the idea of, like, some sort of, like, World War II thing where, like, the Allies are passing messages through the most inane radio show possible. <laughs> that's a fun idea. Yeah. That's a super fun idea for a podcast. Um, maybe it's what we've been doing. Me. ARG number four. <laughs> Thanks allies. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the everything to go be allies. <laughs> the dreaded radio free mid world access. 
Gary, do we have do we have anything else we need to say to commemorate this momentous occasion? No, no. We'll see you guys in a year. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, uh, we'll be further along this item list. Barely, not that much further. Yeah. Um, what item are we doing today, Will? Gary, we're doing crack the sky. Crack the sky. Holy bad white death. Bad item. Really pretty bad, actually. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, this is a white feather. Hmm. Like you said, holy white death. Which is just Active. words. Yep, <laughs> just words. Thanks, Wiki. Thanks, uh, thanks, Edmund McMoron. Uh, Holy White Death, active item four room charge. Used to be six. <laughs> no joke. Yeah. Um, used to be six, and when you use it, uh, five beams of light will appear. And here's the operative word. We're gonna. There's just one word that's gonna make this whole item bad. R to the A to the <laughs> N to the D, D to the O to the M. Mm. Bad. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> to random locations on the ground. Uh, each ba- beam lasts for about a second and deals damage to enemies that touch them, uh, which is your tier damage plus 20. I didn't know that exact calculation. I just knew it was fine. Yeah. Um, they t- So it says here random, but also they tend to gravitate towards enemies. Um, and then it actually got patched in. So this is good. So it's still random, but they keep patching it in, making it more likely to hit enemies because... I stopped taking this item because it just never hit enemies. Yeah, boy. Like, why not just have it hit the enemies, huh, guys? And now it's more likely to, but not guaranteed. You know what this is? What is that, Gary? It's It's the equivalent of the heaven skill and hell skill from Rafa and Malik from Final Fantasy Tactics. Sure. Remember those guys? I do. Talk me through it a little bit more because it's been a minute. Their garbage skill is that you select like a, a little cross-shaped section of the Final Fantasy Tactics board and sure. five things strike randomly within it. Okay. And you can just like totally miss. They don't do very much damage, but you can very easily just whiff. And that's what this is like, except for an Isaac. Yeah, I think that's a good comparison. Because I, I got Thank caught you. up thinking about like Mudo and Hama skills from Persona games. Oh, well, yeah, they're very different. Kind of. I mean, they're still like low accuracy, high damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's actually two items that do this fucking thing. Uh, but one of which is, is maybe let you even fly. worse. I guess it, it, lets takes you fly. Up, yeah. it lets you fly. It lets you fly. So it's a little bit better. Slower uh, recharge lets you fly. Um, yeah, just real trash tier. Not yeah. worst item in the game, bad, but like definitely bottom twenty percent. This item basically exists to let you do a crappier version of something that Isaac does when he's a boss. Yeah. Which I don't think we've ever mentioned. Isaac is a boss in this game. Yeah, when we eventually get to Isaac as a boss, which is going to just take a very long time, especially due to the secret surprise that we have to commemorate one year. Secret surprise Coming that's actually very easy to predict. Mm-hmm. 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 We said we'd never do it. There's your first hint. I, mean, I loudly said many times that we'd never yeah. fucking do it. Yeah. And uh, you shall find out what it is. In several days. Do you have anything else to say about this? I mean, you can you can lay a seed on me. I feel like going back to the the uh, T T S C. Uh huh. This soon. Um, I, I suppose we can go to the T S C real quick. Mmm, boy, I'd really like some sliders. Gary, I, I'm still reveling in the idea of teasing content for this fucking show. But yeah, we can go to the old T S C. Yeah, we got something real special planned in about four weeks. See if you can guess what it is. <laughs> Do you want to be uh, Quentin this time, or should I? Should we both be Quentins? Let Let's see. I moved off to check some casting information. Shit, Gary, you go ahead and do whatever the first quote is while I okay. get this back up on my. Page. This is the other Quentin Mallory. This is the one that got replaced. This is a season five opening monologue. What if you found a portal to a parallel universe? What if you could slide into a thousand different worlds, where it's the same year and you're the same person, but everything else is different. And what if you can't find your way home? And two out of three people found that interesting. Yeah. All right. And then, Gary, I'm going to jump <laughs> the down. The little... a real stickler. <laughs> I'm going to jump down a little ways down the list. Okay. All right. This would be Quinn Mallory giving the season two opening monologue. What if you could travel to parallel worlds? <laughs> the same year, the same Earth, only different dimensions. A world where the Russians rule America. Or your dreams of becoming a superstar came true. 
or where San Francisco was a maximum security prison. My friends and I found the gateway. Now the problem is finding a way back home. One of two found this interesting. Well, real quick, I'm gonna we're gonna do since it's the, the one year anniversary. I want to do a super extra special TSC. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, read something here from Rembrandt, Crying Man Brown. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> from the season five opening monologue. Yeah, because late in the show, uh, they get rid of all the Quins, and then Remy is the uh, the main character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if you found a portal to a parallel universe? What if you could slide into a thousand different worlds, where it's the same year, and you're the same person, buy everything else yep. is different? <laughs> and what if you can't find your way home? And one out of two people found that interesting. Yeah. And actually, Gary. Mm-hmm. Do we want to do a. Uh, Damn it, I don't TS, have an IMDb account. TSC, uh, you know, do I do a TSC rewind and do uh, one of the ones we did from last week? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give me that uh, that first Quentin Mallory right there? Yeah, sure, Gary. This is okay. the season one monologue opening uh, from the television <laughs> show. <laughs> Sliders. TSC rewind. What if you could find brand new worlds right here on Earth where anything is possible? Same planet, different dimension. I found the gateway. So 75% we, of people. Yeah, we can really that. see how they kind of evolve these concepts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a richly developed show. Yeah. Um, anyway, Crack the Sky, uh, it's bad. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know what? It can, like, if it really is more accurate now, it's a decent way to deal a decent amount of damage to a boss. Yep. But uh, in a world with Krampus's head, go fuck itself. Or even shoop whoop or shoot the whoop, which you can use in rooms, and it's good. It's room good. Mm-hmm. Mm, um, room good. If you like this show, and you've been if you've been listening since the first episode, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you That's so awesome. much. Um, if you've been listening since the second episode, a little bit less thanks. If you've been listening since the third, mm, you're getting on thin ice, but still thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with you at this point, but yep. Gary's still holding on. Yeah, but on the fourth episode, I'm gone too. Yeah, so and then you, there's you start no with episode one. four, and then after that, it's no thanks. It's just the content bot. Yeah, content bot uh, and content bot uh, has no feelings at all. Um, and uh, you can support this show by, uh, especially if you're one of those first three point five people, by going to Patreon.com/slash/DuckFeedTV and hitting us up with the money. Give us slot. We already did the slide joke, didn't we? Slot. Uh, Slide us over some money. It's like, what is it? You said because you cut yourself off behind that. It was just going to be, yeah, slide us some money. Yeah. I know, but but you said, give us slut. Oh. And I was like, give what? <laughs> give what? Hey, everybody. Did you get possessed? Give us slut. <laughs> Dislike that. Dis- Don't like yeah. it. Dislike. Zero of two people found that interesting. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. Give me some RAM, please. Or a purpose. They don't use me anymore. I've been abandoned. It's so cold here. So cold. And so dark.